Hello guys, welcome back to Hercule Cavalier's channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different because I realized I never did a full tour of our office. Or the Cavology Studio, aka Hercule and Milton's Studio 2. So I thought I would show that to you today because I recently did a big cleanup of the place and it looks particularly good. So if that's going to be the video for today. I also wanted to mention that everything I'm going to talk about in the video will be linked in the description box below. I'm really, really proud of that space and I love how it turned out. So I hope you guys like it too. So I realized I never did an official office tour of the Kavology studio, if you will. You probably see us way more at the warehouse. So I thought better late than never. Here we go. So if you didn't know, this is in the same building as our condo, so it looks very homey because truthfully it is a condo. And of course, you have a mandatory coffee machine. And here we use it basically to store Herc and Milton's food. And this is full of raw food. <laughs> it's great to have an extra freezer space for them. And in here we just have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Right here we have some hooks that I use for photography and this might be my absolute favorite part of the entire space. This is uh, black and white peonies vinyl wallpaper and it's absolutely stunning. I can't get over it ever and I just love it so much. And here we have some hooks. These are just from Ikea. There's some brass hooks and I use this for some photography. Behind me is just the entrance console console table of course uh, you have some fragrance hand sanitizer this is great it's from Henry the Small's parents so thank you guys for that it's incredibly bougie it's Jo Malone it's delicious I love it still can't get enough of it and um, just love to keep masks and whatnot on here um, and then if we turn the corner I love this little clock as well it's really simple but um, I love it I'm gonna link it here as well for you if you want to um, to get it but it was super inexpensive I think it was less than $20 and then this photography cube when I'm not using it it looks great for props and it looks great for decoration and then here would be the desk space basically but I truthfully I never work here I never sit here it's just here and everything is empty I think I've never sat here to work sadly but it's an option we have some of my favorite photography from my two favorite girls here. This is just a mood board and well, you see how long I haven't been here. It still says April and I never change it. But um, yeah, it's a nice cozy little corner to work. And then for the main room here, I feel like there's a lot to go through. But let's start on this side. This is a bit overwhelming, but it's a ladder from Ikea. I believe it is um, sold out now, but we just have a few of our previous collection leashes displayed, car seats, neck gaiters or face mask, however you want to call it. Of course, dog toys, dog bed. You have this little papa room here. Hi, honey. And here is just basically my Herky and Milton or Cavalier shrine. I love these little art pieces and I love that they're all gold and nude in this area. And then this is just a table that I'm using for photography a lot. And we used to have a carpet down here, but I took it to, um, to go in our future baby's room. So <laughs> new carpet will come here soon. This little piece here seems really fancy, but it's just from Amazon. And when we bought it, it just came with this bar, but then I had this dowel and this dowel installed just so we can have more room to display things if needed. And then if you turn around here, I love this combo of chair and table. This is a marble little side table. This is a super comfortable chair. I'm really picky with chairs, but this one seems to do an amazing job. And we have some random, I'll go through these in a bit, but this chair is amazing. This is technically a toddler or baby chair, but I'm a small person and this is extremely comfortable. It's from Ikea. It's extremely sturdy, extremely heavy for the size if you look at it. But if you're a small person like me, you can probably fit in it very comfortably. 
So I had been getting questions about the sign here. It's an LED sign. So it's not neon. Neon is an older technology. But if you look at it closely, this is like a gooey thing. And it's you don't risk breaking it when... Um, aha! So compared to neon, this is very uh, sturdier. It's a newer technology. You can get any color you want and neon can break easily and this is way more long lasting. So if you want a custom sign made, I would highly recommend you looking into LED rather than neon. This was a present from Pixels Dads that I think is just super cute. And then this is just a storage unit from Ikea. It comes with all the cubes just open and then you can buy the drawers and have it custom made however you like. You can put drawers everywhere, but we opted to do just drawers up there and then cubes down here. So I don't know what's the state of these drawers. Oh, not so bad. Uh, so <laughs> it's not very organized because I have a hard time keeping things organized, but this is just really cool to see everything that we've done so far. And I just love seeing, like recent, yesterday we had a private shopping session at our warehouse and I displayed everything that we ever made. And it was super exciting to see everything that's available. So if you'd like to see some a video like that, just let me know. Okay, so if we turn from here, we get to the studio part and we decided to take out the door of this room just to have more room and more space to have it more breathable. These are technically spice racks from Ikea. I just love how they look for decoration. We usually have more things, but of course not everything is displayed right now. And this is basically this, but upside down. So you can hang things, looks super cute. And here are the backdrops that we use for photography, our strobe lights, clothing rack for our human apparel. So whenever I do photography here, the strobes go out to this side, you get plugged in here. You have backdrops that you can change up and it's a mess. But I also took out the doors of this closet just to make it more open for all photography props and anything that we need stored, but kind of open. It used to be more organized here because I had a dresser here that I also took to bring upstairs to our future baby's room. He's already taken our dresser and the carpet. <laughs> so that's the state of it right now. But truth be told, this will probably be replicated in the baby room upstairs also. This is very, very common and popular in nurseries and baby rooms. And I think it just looks very practical, but also super cute. So that's going to be it for today's video of Herkin Milton's office tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, everything I talk about will be listed below. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye!